Look at this incredible view behind me. Uh, I'm up here in the High Uintas again with my buddy Corbin. And uh, one of our favorite areas, super psyched to be here. We're gonna relax, have some coffee, got some good food, can't wait to show you guys a little later. We're gonna shoot some guns, have a good time. Beautiful. Oh, there's a fish. Right here, buddy. Oh, yeah. A little baby. There's another one. Dude, those would, those would snatch those little flies right up if you got them in there. I honestly thought this would be a lot more frozen than it was, than I it is. That, I knew this area wouldn't be. I don't know about the ponds because they're in kind of a shady area, aren't they? Oh no, the ponds are kind of open. Last year at this time, those ponds were frozen solid. This is just so gorgeous up here. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt because there's little fish in the in the creek, uh, which I knew they were in there. I fished these creeks before. I just thought there'd be a little bit more ice up here, but the weather is just incredible. So, amazing. <laughs> All right, we got a few targets in the tree, so. Uh, we're gonna go rig up and shoot some guns. I imagine we'll probably hike around a little bit. And uh, just again, su super psyched to be out here with Corbin. We're gonna have a good time and looking forward to dinner. So I got a little distracted with the view on the way back. Wow. Right, I'm rolling. Range is hot. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A two. Fire in the hole. Oh, it is beautiful up here. So we just got done shooting guns, had a whole bunch of fun, um, shot quite a few rounds, maybe a hundred or so. And uh, we're both a little hungry. I think it's about three o'clock. We're gonna cook a little sausage that I brought up here for lunch, just to hold us over for a few more hours uh, till we have dinner. And I'm super excited to show you what I have for dinner. Uh, one of my favorite backcountry meals and uh, I save it for special occasions. We'll show you later though. So gonna have a little lunch, do some day hiking, exploring and uh, just having a good time still. Should have brought my little bellows over. Here. We Not because I need it, because I want to use it. We can a little bit more wood on there if you want. I'm trying to get some more coal. <laughs> Unless you think that'll be sufficient. Yeah, we can always throw some stuff underneath it if we need to. So it probably needs a little more, but we'll get the grill heating up anyway.
Yeah. I love filming, man. I love filming and I love editing, dude. All right, had a little lunch, tasted great. We're gonna hike uh, just around the camp area, do some exploring and having fun, I guess. Yeah, it's been a great a lot of fun. So far. This is probably about the end of our day hike. We're about a mile above camp. And uh, this is one of my favorite little off-season fishing ponds right there. There's two of them. And this is the second one. They're small, small ponds, but they are loaded with brook trout, four to six inches in size. Wow, so pretty out guys. Uh, we just made it back from our little day adventure. Uh, we did about a two mile hike all together. Um, very pretty. Uh, we both saw some new areas that we haven't seen before, but we're gonna start winding down. We're gonna process and collect some firewood, sit by a fire. Um, we have an awesome dinner that we're gonna get started here probably in an hour or so. And uh, just gonna have a good night. Oh, they're done. <laughs> yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty fine. There, my friend. Those look and smell fantastic. Holy moly. Good morning. It is uh, a little after 7.30. We're packed up and on the trail. 
Uh, temperature wise, the low was probably around 20, 21 degrees. It definitely got cold, but uh, you know, I talked to Corbin, he slept warm, I slept warm, and we had a really good time. So we're hitting the trail, we'll be back to the truck in no time, and look forward to seeing you again soon.